Hi, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Top tips for home insurance by year 2022. Here are the top home insurance tips for 2022 to help you navigate the challenges of a new year. Buy coverage that absorbs a spike in home repair cost. The dwelling coverage within a home insurance policy pays to repair or put your home if it's damaged by a problem covered by the policy, like a house fire. Your dwelling coverage amount should be based on what it would cost to rebuild your home based on local construction and labor cost. But certain situations, like a tornado that flatters entire neighborhoods, can cause a spike in rebuilding cost. Suddenly, your dwelling coverage amount could be insufficient. Fortunately, some insurers often offer home insurance with extended or guaranteed replacement cost. These optional coverage types absorbed a spike in construction cost by adding extra coverage to your dwelling insurance limit when needed. Keep home insurance afloat if you want home insurance for all types of water to match. You're going to need to plug some major holes. Here are a few things to consider. Don't underestimate your flood risk. It's estimated that only 15% of homeowners have flood insurance, but many homes are at risk for flooding, possibly even your home. Floods are the most common natural disaster in the US and 99% of countries were impacted by floods between 1996 and 19, uh, 2019, according to according to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. Going without flood insurance can be very costly and potentially devastating. Most folks get flood insurance through the National Flood Insurance Program, and FIP, but you can also get policy through the private market. And if you already have a policy through the NFIP, you might be pleasantly surprised. FEMA's flood insurance rates have recently undergone a new pricing system, and some homeowners can take advantages of reduced rates. Small drops make up an ocean. Floods aren't the only water problem to threaten your home and savings. Home insurance covers certain water damage and leaks, but not all types of water damage. Here are some tips to help you stay dry. Get smart. A water leak detector can alert you via smartphone if there is a leak or a freezing pipe is about to burst. A water leak detector can not only help to reduce claims and show you laying out for an insurance detectable, but you may also qualify for a home insurance discount. For TV, your home. If you live in a storm-prone area, you can take steps to make your home strong enough for a hurricane and reduce roof leaks and damage from wind drive and rain. Shore up your coverage. You can buy more coverage types to safeguard your home against water damage. For example, you can typically add coverage for some pump failure and sewer backup. Don't assume you're covered for natural disasters. Floods are not the only disaster commonly excluded from a standard home insurance policy. If you live in a disaster-prone area, you may need to bolster your home insurance with endorsement or additional policy to ensure you're fully covered. Before you buy another policy or add an endorsement to your home insurance, it's a good idea to speak with your insurance again in order to understand the options. Insurance for natural disaster can have complex limits such as different limits for categories of property, exclusions, and high deductibles. Know how much stuff you have. The personal property coverage in a home insurance policy pays to repair or replace belongings. Your clothes, jewelry, furniture, pots and pans, musical instruments, electronics, books, art, and even the decorations and knick knack you, need, you keep on yourselves. But how much personal property coverage do you need? One good way to find out is by creating a home inventory. A good home inventory can both speed up an insurance claim and help maximize your claim payment. If you forget what you owned, you won't make a claim for it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.